Good day, guys. It's Thursday. Woohoo! Thursday, I want you to stay positive. I want you to stay challenged. I want you to stick to your core values to keep pushing through. Uh, to keep letting go of the, of the frustration, to keep letting go of, you know, the, the thoughts that come to say, you know, we're going to keep you in prison, we're going to keep you caged up, we're going to keep you locked up. Remember, guys, they're just thoughts. I want to keep saying this to you. You think, you feel, and you choose. You think something, then your feelings react to it, and then you choose. So if you're dealing with a stressful situation, if you're dealing with anxiety if you're dealing with you know depression and, and you're feeling all these feelings and I want to say feelings are just feelings you know as I am journeying through anxiety myself and um, just learning how to, to let go of the frustration this is this is what I've discovered that I think something then the feelings come and then everything inside me wants to react you know I want to suppress the feelings or the yuck feelings that you get or maybe you feel low or maybe you, you feel depressed or maybe you feel frustrated or maybe you feel angry whatever I'm using the terminology feel remember feel 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 you think you feel and then you choose you think you feel it and then you choose remember that when you think something sometimes you may not even be aware of it it just happens we have thousands and thousands of thoughts go through our heads a day or through our minds a day. And remember, they're just thoughts. You know, and what happens is sometimes our mind becomes a bit sticky, uh, as they call it, and that thought will stick. And then the next thing you know, you focus on that thought, and then you start ruminating on that thought, and the next thing that thought, you know, <laughs> you're catastrophizing. There's an avalanche, there's a cascade of, of all the stuff that is related to that thought. Uh, it would be a bit like... If you seen, say for talk's sake of a car, if you seen a car that you really liked or you seen a picture that you really liked or you seen a heart, a picture of a heart, and um, you think, oh, that's really nice. Next thing you know, you start seeing that same car in the road, there's hundreds of them, or you see a picture that you like, the next thing you know, you see this picture everywhere, or you see a picture of a heart, next thing you know, you see the picture of the heart everywhere, it might be the same color, but you'll see pictures or images or shapes that look like heart because your brain then latches on to what you've been thinking and starts looking it starts getting to work and starts wanting to look and see you know for this picture for this car let me say it for the thought that you had that's sticky like maybe you get up today and you thought I'm so frustrated then your brain gets to work your mind gets to work and goes okay I will bring things your way it's going to cause you to become more frustrated. It's doing what it's told. And I want you to remember that, guys. Your brain does what it's told. You speak it, the brain goes, no problem, let's get to work. Positive or negative. So I want to encourage you to just be conscious of what you're speaking today. Remember to speak hope, to speak life. And if you have those yucky feelings in the inside that are related to anxiety, I'm not just talking about having a stressful day. I'm talking about real anxiety, guys. I'm talking about that yuck feeling, that feeling that you feel it crawling all over you and everything just looks black. Everything looks flatlined. Uh, you feel as if you're hopeless. You have sensations that you feel that you're hopeless. You have feelings that you feel that you're in a dark place. And remember, when you think it, next thing all of a sudden, you've got what they call the first fear. And that first fear is that bolt of shock in your stomach and that feeling that you get like you know if someone was jumping behind the door and screaming you know that feeling that, that big bang that you get that shock that you get in the inside all that is guys is adrenaline your body's doing what it's supposed to do what happens is the mind's thinking oh this is a frightening situation so if you find yourself at a point where you're going wow well, you know I, I, I just wash these feelings away don't just accept them just allow them uh, and remember who you're serving remember who you belong to if you're a Christian if you're a Jesus follower you belong to the king um, your king's kid the king's daughter he's for you he lives and he breathes and he moves inside you he's not going to abandon he's not going to leave you and if you're not a Christian or if you're not a Jesus follower I would encourage you you know get to know him uh, he's the most beautiful wonderful thing that you'll ever 
ever stumbled across in your entire life and, um, and have a relationship with. But I want to say to you, it's adrenaline in your system. There took two groups of people, right? Ten people in each room. And the person who was conducting the experiment, they both injected the ten people on both parties with adrenaline. One of the people who was instructing in one side of the group, once he got the adrenaline, everybody else got it, he exuded uh, excitement and was excited and whoa this adrenaline's amazing whoa like if you're on a roller coaster ride and all that buzz and buzz you get yeah like, it's so exciting it's so exciting and the whole ten in the room was all yeah it's so exciting they were all lit the wire and the other group the other ten the guy pretended to be sad depressed I hate this this is frustrating it's all negative 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 and I guess what happened yeah you know the answer guys every single one of those people who were injected with the exact same adrenaline but because the instructor perceived or projected his negativity and everything was all doom and gloom every single one of those other people all projected the same thing doom and gloom hopeless frustrated angry blah 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 so it's just adrenaline in your system it will pass don't fight it don't resist it even though you feel absolutely terrible in the inside it's just adrenaline. You think it, adrenaline, bang, it happens. They call it, they call it the first fear. The second fear you have a choice over. The second fear is when the thought comes or the feeling comes, you just go, it's just a thought, it's just a feeling. But it feels so yuck. Yeah, I know, it's just adrenaline. It'll pass. It'll pass. Don't resist it. Don't fight against it. Yes, it's horrible. And they are uncomfortable situations or they are uncomfortable sensations or uncomfortable feelings that you're having but guys I want to tell you they, it's just adrenaline it will pass it will pass so my daily fire just to encourage you today don't give up don't give up never quit and never give in and let go of the, frustra the frustration of the adrenaline that's in your system it will pass just surf the wave it's just like a wave it will dissipate it may take half an hour it may take a couple of days or a couple of hours you might even sit with it all day but you just let it be don't disturb it it's like a snow globe you get one of those snow globes you shake it up and all the snow's everywhere and then it all comes down but if you grab it again oh no there's that feeling again oh, you shake the snow globe up again or Oh, there's that thought again. Oh, you shake the snow globe up again. The next thing, it's continually, continually being stirred up. Just set the thing down. Just observe it. Don't acknowledge it. Remember, they're just thoughts. Don't give your power away to your thought. Don't give your power away, guys. Just let the snow settle back down again. It will dissipate. I promise you, it will dissipate and it will settle back down. Don't shake it up. So, never quit. Never give up, never give in. As I say, it is a journey, guys. Is it? A, we are all in a valley. Some days are good, some days are not. But remember, when you're feeling that anxiety or that stress crawl all over you or that depression crawl over you, remember all those yucky feelings. They're all reaction because of what we're thinking. We think, we feel, we choose. Don't worry about it. Just chill about it. Settle it. Just let it cool down. And I promise you. The adrenaline will dissipate out of your body and all the other chemicals that's all associated with that will all start to settle and your nervous system will start to settle like a snow globe snow will start to just settle back down again so i'm going to get to work on me today you get to work on you today have a great thursday guys let's get to work